hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows applications how to insert the selected radio button values into SQL Server database table and here we got the output window so I'm selecting the SQL Server save See here we got the message selected course name SQL Server is saved successfully. Click OK. Let's check in my database table. I'm executing the select statement. See here we got the SQL Server is added to the radio value table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I have created a new project which is a Windows Forms radio button insert which contains a Form 1. Now my aim is I will add some radio button controls into this form and one button control. Before adding the designing part, let's visit my SQL Server Management Studio. We will check the table and the column names. The table name is a radio value which contains two columns. One is the ID and the second one is the course name. ID is the auto generate column. When a user select a radio button course name, that value will be saved in this table radio value. Let's start the designing part. Let me expand the form one design page. Go to toolbox, all windows forms, radio button one, I am adding three radio buttons. F4. The radio button value I am changing to wind forms. Second radio button F4 SQL Server and the third one is VB.net. Let's add the button control. Go to toolbox button control. F4 save that's it we have done the designing part now the next step is let's add the connection string in the app.config file go to server explorer open that one data connections right click that one add connection After adding the server name, I am selecting the database name which is sample db. Test connection. OK. OK. And notice under data connections, the sample db.dbo is added. We need this sample db data source connection string. Right click the sample db.dbo properties. The third option is a connection string which is the data source. Copy that one. Open solution explorer. App.config file. Open that one. Between the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name. I'm giving proper name to my connection. My con connection string. I'm pasting the data source connection string. Provide a name. System dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file switch to the design mode double click the save button and here we got the button click event let's add the namespaces using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration 
the system dot configuration namespace is user to access the connection string from the app dot config file and one more important point is in windows forms applications by default the system dot configuration is not added into the project references folder see here we don't have the system dot configuration let's add the system dot configuration library into this references folder right click the references add reference system dot configuration click that one okay and notice system dot configuration is added in the references folder let's start the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my con I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding the main con variable string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is an insert statement insert into the table name is dbo dot radio value copy that one and pasting here values the column name is at course name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query command text and the second parameter is the connection object SQL com SQL com dot parameters dot add with value and add with value takes two parameters so one is the parameter name which is a course name copy that one between double quotes because it's a string comma and the second parameter is the object value here the object is the radio buttons but we have three radio buttons what I'm doing is I'm creating a string course name is equals to string dot empty this course name I'm adding here this is the object SQL com dot execute non query method after insert the record successfully I want to display the message message box dot show selected course name plus plus course name is saved successfully and the last one as usual we have to close the connection connection dot close method and here we forgot to open the connection SQL con dot open method now now switch back to the design mode double click the radio button we got a radio button event check it change course name is equals to the first course name is winforms switch to the design mode again SQL server second radio button course name is equals to SQL server the last one vb.net course name is equals to vb.net that's it we have done the complete designing and coding part let's check the results start and here we got the output window so I'm selecting the SQL server 
So, so here we got the message selected course name SQL Server is saved successfully. Click OK. Let's check in my database table. I'm executing the select statement. See here we got the SQL server is added to the radio value table. That's it.